All right, thank you, Doc. In good health today, the CDC is still searching for the cause of AFM, the polio-like illness that's actually causing paralysis in children. Now, several parents of kids affected are speaking out. They want other families to understand how serious this mystery illness is and how quickly it can strike. Running around doing anything, getting into everything, and then just, bam, it was so fast. And it was like, what's going on? It was just one week ago that Amira Faircloth started getting sick. The Florida three-year-old was running a fever and throwing up. Then, suddenly, she started losing function in her arms and legs. She's currently in the ICU. In South Carolina, AFM struck three-year-old Presley Holcomb in February. I had already, in my mind, started thinking about a funeral, and, and that... That's a hard thing, um, but I had faith that she would be healed. Presley survived and has made progress in physical therapy. You're doing it. I'm so proud of you. Look at you. She's doing great. She's walking with her walker. She's walking with some crutches. She's determined and she's making great strides. Across the country, the CDC is investigating 127 cases of AFM. 62 of those have been confirmed in 22 states. The average age of the patients, just four years old. I really like to run. It was two years ago that Tahi Toya was diagnosed in New Mexico. Doctors thought he had a sinus infection. Then Tahi's teacher called to say he couldn't raise his left arm. His mom was frustrated by the lack of information. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just left without any answers. Three months ago, Tahi had an experimental surgery to transfer healthy nerves from his rib cage to his arm. So far, he has regained some movement in his fingers. While every case is frightening, health experts stress it is important for parents to keep the risk in perspective. It's one in a million incidents. So although parents uh, uh, understandably are concerned about what they're hearing about now, we need to make sure they're aware of it, they're alert to it, but they don't get necessarily overly frightened by it because it really is a rare occurrence. Now, all of the parents and experts agree it is important to seek help fast if you do notice these symptoms like sudden weakness or perhaps a drooping face. As far as prevention, doctors say wash your hands often, stay up to date on vaccines, and try to keep kids healthy as best as you can.